Yeah, uh, I'll just uh, say a few words about the uh, topic of this uh, session and uh, then Anindu will basically uh, tell us about the expectation from the uh, from this session. So uh, basically this is, uh, the concern is ICT for development, I mean uh, innovative use of ICT for development. Uh, one major uh, issue that uh, comes up in uh, our mind is that uh, you know the development uh, uh, innovation has uh, has another flip side also the flip side is under development innovation also creates under development and uh, you know like uh, the whole uh, colonial plundering was possible because of two very important innovations one is the you know the industries that come up that came up and uh, which was uh, followed by uh, massive innovation in the communication and transportation technology. And uh, you know, like uh, innovation has, uh, has a tendency to uh, create underdevelopment by, you know, uh, underdevelopment, underdevelopment for those who are not part of the scheme of innovation in a, in a, in a typical capitalist system. Uh, so uh, basically, uh, uh, what like uh, in, in a capitalist system, the innovation that takes place, uh, it creates uh, uh, you know, it, 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 it creates a margin or it creates a lagger. Uh, so uh, I mean, when we discuss about innovation, this aspect has to be taken into account, particularly when you say that ICT. Uh, has tremendous potentiality for innovation, uh, innovative use, uh, tremendous potentiality for development. Now, you know, like uh, Marx, as uh, you know, the most cited and most honored interpreter of maladies of uh, capitalism, uh, was uh, quite impressed about uh, the innovative capacity of capitalism, uh, and so much so that. Uh, I mean, when he, when he talks of uh, unleashment of productive forces in the capitalist system, and uh, uh, and he talks of those who are not part of it as laggards, and actually the, that kind of civilization is the civilization in slumber. Now, uh, Marx, uh, in his understanding of capitalism, didn't talk of or you know like use value didn't have any explanatory uh, power in Marxian scheme. But use value is very important in the sense that uh, actually it, uh, it uh, suggests the cultural value that is uh, part of capitalist system and that cultural value actually creates use value and that provides exchange value which is actually the uh, center point of the Marxian system. And when you bring in use value, actually there Marx confronts uh, Gandhi. And uh, I think that aspect has to be understood when we talk of development particularly, not growth, which uh, Anindu will be talking about a bit. Uh, ICT uh, as a network technology has brought in series of uh, innovations in the production as well as in the exchange sphere. And uh, uh, you know, uh, like uh, uh, that, has, uh, that has actually revitalized the capitalist system. You know, now we can actually operate at uh, Jhumritilaya sitting in New York. And it has actually be given a new arms uh, in the hands of capitalist system. And the, the, through the use of ICT, what actually we are heading to, particularly the developing economies or less developed economies, is a, is, a, is a matter of great concern that, you know, like Pepsi has uh, uh, has uh, licensed in thousands of acres uh, of land, uh, I mean, very uh, a fertile agricultural land, good agricultural land in India for cultivation of potato. And India will emerge as the major source of potato chips, will be feeding globe, the whole globe with potato chips uh, at the cost of what that has to be actually accounted for. In fact, there is a very burning example of Haiti, which was a food surplus economy, uh, had been turned as, a, uh, you know, in the hands of the retail uh, giant, multinational giants, and now surviving on food relief. So these are the concerns when we are talking about ICT for development, should be, I think, uh, taken into account. 
I will uh, request Onindu to uh, spell out that uh, the, the issues that we are expecting to be covered in this session. Yeah.